Okay, let's see how long we can do this update without you being fussy, my tired baby. My tired boy. There you go. There you go. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, my name is Yelena and this is the Hallam Fam. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel and stick around. We post videos every single week. This is our son, Grayson, and he is two and a half weeks old. He's gonna be three weeks in a few days, which is crazy. Time has gone by so fast, but we are just soaking up every single minute of loving him and spending time with him. And today I thought I would do just a quick update for my like two week postpartum update or two week baby update. Um, first I'll do baby update. He has been doing so well. He actually went to his pediatrician the day after we came home from the hospital or the two days after because it was a weekend. So um, he was already at his birth weight like three days after he came home from the hospital, which usually they go after three weeks. So it's really, really good. He has been growing really well and he is just such a perfect and healthy little baby. We are so incredibly blessed and lucky to have him and just, you know, really lucky that he has been really healthy and just the perfect little baby. I have been just basically breastfeeding him from day one from when I was in the hospital so I haven't had any trouble with him latching on or anything like that. I really didn't want to go the formula route so I really wanted to breastfeed him but you know I'm not against formula so if I had to be formula then I would have done that but I'm just really happy that I get to breastfeed this little angel and he has been pretty good the first week um the first week when like week and a half maybe was kind of hard for us because his days and nights are kind of still mixed up but the first few days it was definitely an adjustment and um we just had a lot of family in town my parents flew from california and it was just really really overwhelming i cried literally every single night because i was just so overwhelmed and i love my family to death but I just think with everything coming home from the hospital, I was still recovering and it's just, it was a lot. So that was definitely really difficult. But now that we're adjusting and it's almost been three weeks, the baby has been doing so well. We've been establishing a routine for him at night, just giving him baths, which he has been loving. And um, we actually at first gave him a bath in the big tub and he didn't like that very much. And then the second bath, I actually took a bath with him, thinking that it would comfort him more. But then the third bath, um, I actually put him in our like sink after cleaning him out and putting like the sponge thing that we have for him. And um, he has been loving that. So I give him a bath every single night before bed. And that seems to really help him calm down and get ready for bed. So I feel like establishing a routine for him definitely is like the best thing right now because he has been sleeping pretty good. I do feed him about every two to three hours. Most of the time during the day, it's more frequently, it's like cluster feeding. And then at night he'll eat like a lot more and then he'll sleep. So it just depends on what he wants to do. If he wakes up and he's hungry, then I feed him. So it kind of is like that. But I went from kind of setting an alarm the first the first couple of weeks I went um, to setting alarm on my phone for every two hours and he was actually waking up like way more frequently than every two hours because he just kept wanting to feed and then he was napping all day. So right now we kind of have him where he takes a couple or like a few uh, pretty good long naps during the day, but then at night he he's not like napping literally all day anymore he's awake for a few hours during the day now so it's kind of helping a lot oh look at him oh my god he's so cute um i just lost my train of thought because i just i just love you so much and i could stare at you all day hi i just can stare at you all day he just loves being snuggled like every time i leave or i'm not like touching him or holding him he just doesn't like it and I don't mind it because I just love snuggling with him and I stare at him all day long. He's just our sweet little boy. Um, it's been hard to kind of post videos because I literally just like stare at him and hold him all day long. 
So hopefully like once I establish more of a routine after Matt goes back to work, which is gonna be in another week, I'm gonna try to film a lot more videos for you guys. So yeah, hopefully that will work out better. But anyway, um, I think I did all the baby update that I wanted to do for you guys. He, yeah, like I said, is doing really well. Just trying to, you know, get a routine going for him to help him sleep at night better so mommy and daddy can sleep. But yeah, just been breastfeeding him, which is going really well. And um, what else? Oh, okay, so on to my postpartum update. Since I didn't have any stitches or any tears, which I am also so thankful for. Um, because like I said, I, re I read so many stories about, you know, just different things that can happen to you during labor. But I'm um, just really thankful that I didn't have any of those. And I know some of you are probably hating me and I'm sorry. Um, I just got really lucky that that didn't happen to me and my recovery has been pretty easy. I literally jumped into cleaning and doing everything that I was doing before I gave birth and I was already walking and um, doing pretty much everything that I would be doing. Um, the first week was kind of tough. I was pretty sore, you know, down there in that area, but um, after the first week, it kind of, I just kept moving around and just kept doing stuff. And I just felt like I told myself I wasn't gonna let that stop me. I wasn't gonna just like sleep all day, so, or just stay in bed all day. So I just kept doing stuff. And I feel like just being back to normal and being myself again, like losing the weight and stuff, like has helped so much. I'm just so happy that um he's here now and i'm not pregnant anymore because toward the end there i was so swollen and uncomfortable and i just was like get this baby out of me and um yeah i'll show you guys a few clips of like my belly uh postpartum belly and just like the weight that i lost i'm pretty much wearing my normal clothes now some shorts and stuff still kind of are tight but it's okay i am not obsessing over it because i have this adorable baby and um what else i think that's pretty much it i'm not pumping or anything right now i'm just kind of gonna breastfeed even though i have a pump but um that's all the things that i have right now we're doing really well and baby's doing well daddy's doing well mommy's doing well everyone's doing really well and we're really happy i hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any other questions comments or anything like that please put them down below and i'll be happy to answer them or Put them in a new video for you guys but yeah if you guys have any suggestions for new videos just let me know down in the comments and yeah oh my goodness you're so freaking cute well i hope you guys um have an amazing rest of your day and we'll see you guys in the next video bye oh my goodness look at her in the skirt my sweet boo boo Alright you guys, this is my 10 day postpartum belly that I would show you. Um, you can see my like appendicitis scar but my line is still there. My little stretch marks that were there when I was pregnant. But yeah, this is 10 days. It's still kind of like a little soft and squishy. But it's gone down so much. I still looked like six months pregnant when I first got home from the hospital. So that's what it looks like 10 days. So it went down quite a bit. It looks like that now.